Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Between Collectors, episode 50. Yes. Are we on 50? 50. Believe it or not, 50. Oh. 50. We hmm. made it, man, 50. So we're halfway. Hopefully in four years from now, we're going to get to the 100th episode. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Don't worry it's about it. 50 years. <laughs> I know. I know. It's going to happen. And as you can see, my beautiful panel, we're still waiting for Joao. Hopefully he will join us tonight. Um... You know, I have a pleasure to have this guy in my stream again. Deal of the collector in the house, my friend. Welcome back. Man, thank you for having I had no idea today was the 50th episode. I would have wore like a, something a little bit more for the occasion, maybe a bow tie or something. But thank you hey, hey, for letting me come. Yeah. I'm happy to be back. Yes. Yeah, man. And happy birthday, too. Yesterday was your birthday. So hope yes. you had a great time. I had a beautiful time. Thank you so much for that. I know you did. Avocado. <laughs> I'm for the mixing. <laughs> and you know this guy, Easy Company Collectibles, in the house. I know. Very nice. He lost 50 pounds already. Wow. 50. 50. 50. 5 -0. You inspired me, Easy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't lose anything. You're an inspiration to all of us. He lost, he lost motivation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your hot toys moving? Dilo, what's up? Your hot toys is moving behind you. Ah, it's moving. Ah, the Pennywise? Oh man! No, something is moving. What is that? You see it too, don't you, Dante? Where? It's moving right behind him. Looks weird. Oh shit! Got some like right. Toy Stories thing going on behind me right now. They're alive. You must have a fan on. It's moving. That. <laughs> I do have a fan on. Yes, okay, probably reflection. Oh, probably what it is. Jesus Christ! Don't scare me, man. Uh, oh, I see. You're talking about my Vader behind me there that's blowing out the cave. Yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. when it first started moving, I'm like, that looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's the DX, my man. Exclusive one. <laughs> that, that, and, oh, that's the battle great. damage, right? Yes, it is. Uh, I can't wait it for that one. Soul. It's gorgeous. You're going to love that one. Oh, man, I can't wait for that one. Uh, I'm waiting for that one. I'm also waiting for... Uh, actually, the one that I... It's probably coming next week is Batman with the, with the bat signal. Ooh, that one nice. Yeah. I'm waiting it's for that one too. That he, the bat, what, what is it, like bat signal that got delayed? Bro, it came out in December and people still getting delayed notifications oh, on that. Delayed? That's weird. I just yeah. find that weird when they have like an but, accessory. The, but you know why, right? That, that particular what? batch, the batch with a bat signal is the one that got delayed. But if you got the uh, individual, you know, the Batman you by itself, the, you mm -hmm. got a Or the signal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So that one is on his way, and also Pennywise. Inner Pennywise is on his way too. Mm. Gandalf. So. Gandalf too, yeah. Huh? Your Gandalf. Did you? Oh, oh no, you no, know, that one. No, no, that one was a mistake. You reviewed that already. I reviewed that one already. Yeah. So yeah. you know, uh, Kid Chen sent me another invoice for another Gandalf. So, um, so I, 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 I told him that you know I got mine already. You know, they don't want to, you know, pay for some another one. Um, and I still have Argon on pre-order, which I'm going to send to EC after I review it. Because yeah, you want it. I want it. Um, so, yeah, man. So, yeah, this is a Friday night. We're here, you know, and we have, uh, I think, pretty cool topics to discuss. So, let me run the intro so we don't waste any time. So, this is how we start. This is Me how we do it. Collectors. While we wait for more people to join, we have Punisher XS in the house. How you doing, my friend? Welcome the stream uh, Thalia Mayer in the house happy hello and happy Friday everyone it's a beautiful Friday and TX boy 210 uh, how's it going everyone yes. we are doing great We're do you know it's it's been a, like a really kind of I don't know I don't know if it's slow week but we have few releases and pretty cool announcements so we get a release uh, no an announcement release 
sold out at the same time. <laughs> all three, <laughs> all three at one, and we're gonna talk about that one too. Uh, Queen Studios, man, dropping the heat with this massive wonder scale Hulk, and I'm not into. I mean, I like Marvel, but I'm not collecting Marvel anymore. But man, that Hulk is so freaking amazing that I'm, yeah. you know, I would love to pull the trigger on that one. Emerson, how you doing, my friend? Welcome, my friend. You want to join us? I can send you the link if you like. Uh, speak to us. Uh, oh, and then, and then some third-party companies too dropping some nice uh, announcements. So, so yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun show. So we're gonna start with the first topic. And I don't know if I should leave this one to the end, but you know what? Fuck it. We're going to start. All right. Fuck so <laughs> Fuck it. so this is the one that EC loves so much. Mm-hmm. I did Talk this peanut butter, put it between bread and eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love it. Uh-huh. So is that the Umbra? Umbara? <laughs> Umbara. <laughs> Umbara. Is that Umbara? Umbra? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Umbara. <laughs> What is, what is it? Is it since you're the one who knows this thing? Umbara <laughs> is um, one of the most like iconic, sad Clone Wars battles in the animated series ever. Dilo, are you familiar? I'm familiar, but I'll I'll, so, I'll lean on your expertise here. He's not familiar. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> not as much as you, Kali. I didn't know that there was a backstory to this guy. I thought it was from the video game I mean, from Battlefront. This is, like if you're if you're into Clone Wars and like you love clones and then you collect hot toys if you don't get this it's it, this being a limited release of 1500 and then i think like even like a thousand or 900 to sideshow alone and then i got in line and on, on the little queue and it was like number five thousand. there was it was a ridiculous amount of people trying to get this and uh hopefully i secured one through a third party sideshow unfortunately i did not but this this clone is just an awesome arc trooper to have because it's just a bar trooper. I mean, if you know the story, like it's really one of the most like sad battles of the Clone Wars. Um, spoiler alert to you guys. I don't know if you've seen it, but I mean, they end up killing their own brothers in this episode under the false orders of a Jedi, which was crooked. And he saw... Oh. Like, I saw an episode. I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, so that's the episode when basically that big... I forgot his name, the Jedi's name. Yeah, he's he, like the, the big blubbery-looking Jedi, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it, it like, once... Like, when you see it, it's it's so sad. So this is awesome. Yeah. Like, I was, like, excited to see that this is coming out. And it's it's already out. It's shipping already from Sideshow. This is an so, exclusive version. This is from the exclusive. game? I'll stop talking. I'll just, I'm going to walk. I, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is from I the Clone Wars of... episode of, of the Mbara battle. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That's a lie. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, there's a lot of Clone Wars fans. And even if you're not even a Clone Wars guy, even if you're just a trooper dude, Dante called it the Bumblebee Trooper. So <laughs> it just looks cool. To me, it looks cool. It's a very boring design when you don't like really inherit, like get that whole mindset of the Umbara trooper. But like, if you know, you know, it's one of those troopers. It's really cool to me. I love it. I need it. I hope I get it. I hope I'm not scammed out of my money. <laughs> you're gonna get. <laughs> you're gonna get one arm. That's all you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get a regular trooper with a box of crayons so you can color it yourself. <laughs> it's oiled pastels. <laughs> You know, yeah. to be honest with you, the design looks good. I like the the yellow and the and the black looks freaking good. So, Yo, somebody got three. Can I have one, please? Sell me one. TX boy two ten. He got three. <laughs> <laughs> TX boy says I was able to score three. Wasn't taking my chances with Sasha. No better than they leave my fate with some random system. I know, like many people, I saw one person put it a picture on, on Facebook. And he was like the four thousand, like four thousand something in place in line. I was like, what? Was five thousand in the line. Hell? Hey, same thing was same thing for another figure that we wanted so bad, the Anakin uh, Arte- Artesian Water Edition. Artesian. We artist. I mean, that was a that was untouchable, and they made three thousand of them, and this was at fifteen hundred, not even fifteen hundred. This was like eight or nine hundred on sideshow. 
because you know uh, i think like 600 went to china or something like that six or five hundred also oh, it was a so very 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 this, limited yeah this was very 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 limited and it wasn't bad of a price i think it was 265 75 something like that so it, it wasn't even a ripoff from sideshow which was awesome but they gave it to us so limited hot toys really screwed with us on this one it's an art trooper too like star wars man it's cool it's, it's yeah. cool you know but again you can get this is what captain rex design you can just repaint it right i mean yeah <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's an art trooper design. Like, think of uh, Jesse that came out recently. It's pretty much the same one with a couple more head sculpts there. It's a uh, it's a really good looking uh, piece. I think the the black on yellow does a lot to enhance the trooper because <laughs> it's, exactly, it's, it's exactly Jesse. Yeah, it's an, it's an, <laughs> it enhances the trooper I've already seen before. I'm not big into collecting troopers like I used to be, but I mean, I can definitely appreciate. A stylish looking piece when i see one my boy was able to to get one uh he was on the queue yeah shout out to uh flavia from house of collectibles he he managed nice. to secure one he told me he wasn't gonna go for it then he's like yo i got it no, of nice. course what a hoe but uh i cussed out everybody i knew who got one universal key you know because you know what because a lot of my buddies came to me they're like you're gonna go for this i was like no nah, i think i'm gonna pass on this one and of course all my friends tried to get it all of them so like i thought we had a like a pack like we were going to do it together but i guess not but um but no he was a secure one and what's interesting for me is like i didn't know that here in the states they were going to ship them out today his is already shipped it's already shipped. oh wow already shipped i thought we'd wait i thought they would get it over there first and then maybe like a month later we'd all get it here but no his is apparently shipping today so go figure nice i got four of this <laughs> no you don't bro <laughs> And I hate it because all the people that got it, they're like, oh, I don't want it. I'm going to sell it for like 500 I'm like, you go <laughs> dirt, you punk. That's you see, in the game, I now, man. I'll sell you one for $499.99. You're my friend. <laughs> I, I mean, I paid <laughs> like 100 over retail. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and then hopefully I, have my, I, I get a foot at least. <laughs> like, this is so I'm cool. Look at the color. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Y'all know. Come on. I, so how much true. did you say you paid? Like 350 350 ship yeah it's not terrible you it's figure terrible. it's not bad so i I, like, I jumped in i had to get it so i mean figure like, with taxes shipping you probably paid like 20 bucks more does anybody know how many uh boba fett arena suit like how many were those hmm arena suit but um i don't know they never had a size edition for i that never one. saw but it, they probably released it because it was one of those limited releases too and then now it's falling in the market kind of cheaply so but i doubt uh, there was speculation about this being you know a boba fett arena suit kind of a rebound that this is gonna have but i don't think so 1500 pieces very it's limited 100 arena own. So, uh, TX Boy says uh, there were 800 arena fets. 800, and look how they kind of plummeted in the secondary market. Rundle. But this being an actual, you know, reference to the show, like Arena Suit was almost something that we don't even know of. And this one being actually from the show, I think it's in the, is it in Battlefront? Yeah, the way that's what it's it. coming from. It's coming from the Battlefront 2 line. Didn't I say that? Oh. So is it a video game masterpiece? It's or... a video. Yeah, it's a VGM. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good morning, Isi. Welcome to America. What did they say? I'm better. I didn't... The, it's not even in the game, the planet. So I don't know what the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's in the in the game. But but that's the exact pose like it they would be in Battlefront. So that's why I was like, wait a minute. Huh. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Be well. <laughs> be well <laughs> i i just put a poll in the chat so just uh let me know guys what are you gonna do with this umbara umbra art hmm. trooper get it not get it bypass Dante Bi said, do, you the, um, do you want the umbrella trooper yes <laughs> <hello>. <laughs> You know, it was funny because when I saw this release, I was reading. I said, well, "Umbrella? What right. the hell is that umbrella?" Then when I'm looking, <laughs> wait a minute, it's not umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> like umbrella trooper? What the hell is that? Yeah, so TX Boy makes a good comment here, saying that multiple people will want multiple clones, so it's going to do good. Like 
it's if i get a second one my hands on a second one i'm still gonna keep it and display it because imagine two of these dudes like guns out they just look they have a more aggressive look to them and i like yeah it's just that black and yellow I think very Chrome Troopers do better though too, because remember they did the Chrome Trooper, the the, the oh, Chrome shit. Trooper from that. That one there, they did a little bit more there, but I mean, you can find the Arena Boba Fett even though it's limited to eight hundred pieces. But those Chrome ones, you don't see those very often. I think people are gonna hold on to this one more. I mean, there's gonna be a couple people to sell, of course. Obviously, some people are doing it for different reasons, but. I hated it's how they did the Chrome one. Collectibles. But I mean, you don't see the Chrome one outside very often. It's just kind of rare, so people kind of keep those. I think this is, you're probably on some easy. I think this one will probably hold its weight a little bit more than previous releases because, yeah, like you said, people, like you said, people do like, like multiple ones. So, like TX Boy said. So, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's going to have had, a, a good place. I had, I had two Chrome clone troopers and. I got Chrome, uh, the two pre-orders, because I thought, you know, Chrome is awesome. You know, I thought they were going to do it like the rest of the line, like the Stormtroopers, you know, the front, the rose gold, uh, gold and silver. But it was like a very metallic flat paint. Mm. And that was pretty disappointing that they were going to call it Chrome and then not make it Chrome. Right. Was weird. So I sold them both. I, I, I couldn't get rid of them. Like nobody was buying it. Wow. Man. I kind of yeah. want to. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. But, but you know, the, the paint application looks good. The design looks good. I mean, you know, it's funny because this is exactly the same as, as Rex looks to me. Just the paint application is obviously with the yellow and, and black and looks so freaking good. So this is a very easy, to me, a very easy release for, for Hot Toys. They probably have a, uh, had a lot of uh, figures left over. They said, they reuse, they, let's reuse it. And that's yeah. fine. You can do that's it. Fine. Yeah, it's oh, fine. It's amazing. It's just like Iron Man. You can reuse a ton of parts. But why make this so limited? I just murder Hornet. That's cool. But why make this so limited? I don't see the reason why. Like, why? Like, go make something like, you know, like, you know, who remembers the porcelain trooper? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's Those good. Are that kind of cool. One. Like, I have that as well. Like, I'm never selling that figure. I, it's not even in. I don't even have it on display, but it's a really awesome design. You know, it's one of those not for everyone, but if you're going to jump in, let's make it limited and sell it day one, get rid of it. This is like, you don't have to do that to us, Hot Toys. Like, this is a clone art trooper. It pissed off a ton of people, including me. I was about hurt. Yeah, but, but it looks good. I mean, it does look good. I love it. And I can see the point. I can see why people are getting multiples of this. Yeah, you got three different helmet choices, so you can get them all displayed yeah. together. It's, a, yeah. it's an easy That's one. True. That's true. That's true. And you know what they did with this clone, with the with the with this type of figures. Um, I remember when I did the review of um, the Five of First Battalion Trooper. Mm -hmm. I think that was the first one I got. Then the Coruscant Guard or the Coruscant Trooper. Um, the body was very good. It was ratcheted joints, very nice, easy to articulate. It wasn't limited at all. You know, that was one of the issues with, with troopers in general, right? The articulation. Italian, Italian, Italian. So, so they continue. And when I remember when I reviewed that figure, I said, I hope that Hatos continue the trend of, of using the same body because is proven that it's working. This is the way you should do troopers. So you can do very nice poses and things like that. And that's what they did. So they continue that pattern. So that's great. And this one has to be no exception. You know, I mean, look look at how easy it seems to be the, the, the pose, right? They just... Even this type of simple poses with the regular troopers or the older troopers was difficult because of the, of the armor. armor. Yeah, the armor restrictions was a big thing, especially first order troopers. That was garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they which were. one? First order. They look yeah. good. Oh they're yeah, beautiful. yeah, they're beautiful, yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Makes me want worse. Makes me want the fin with a bloody helmet. That was so nice. Yeah, that was, that, that was bad. I remember that one. It was a pain in the bud. It's a pain in the buttholes. I don't like it. Are you my mom? <laughs> Are you gonna make me go to bed? The Death Trooper was also. Was it that oh, yeah, that was horrible. 
That's true. Beautiful, beautiful design, amazing everything. Articulations suck. Yeah. Like to change the hands. I, oh my god! It was like. Yep, this pops off. Right. Same thing. But design beautiful. I mean, the whole mm -hmm. the whole design, the, the accessories beautiful. But again, these ones to me are the best. Like yeah. the, Look at the that. bodies. Three Perfect. different figures. That's clean. Practically, right? That's basically it. Three figures in one. Three figures. And that, what a badass squad to make. Damn, you got to point it out. Why would they make this one so limited? I mean, if you're going to give people three options with helmets, it but only produce 1,500, that is... Yeah. This is a money grab from Hot Toys. You could have made a ton of these things and it would have sold. Jesse's coming into uh, weightlifting, right? Isn't he? I haven't think so. I don't know. I don't know. He's, and, he's been and, up there for a while. And Jesse's no big you know, deal as far as paint job goes. No. This is badass. And then they go and cut their their own sales margins with it. it, it mm -hmm. I, like it doesn't make sense. What's the what's the deal with that? So it's gotta they be they, they're probably trying to reset the market. That's the only thing I can think of. Like, because it's you're right. I mean, this one right here, this was ha this one has like multiple figures written all over it for a collector, right? If you're gonna be army building and stuff like that, but yet it's only fifteen hundred pieces. The only logical explanation is they're trying to bring the market back to a point where everything is more desirable everything is more limited so you're you're running out to get a figure as soon as you can possibly get one because you just don't know anymore like last week i had an issue with the bad batch right the bad batch not it you know not everybody's collecting bad Batch, but if you've been following it online people are looking for characters like crosshair wrecker recently sold out and i had to scramble to grab one before that and now I didn't take a chance. I don't pre-order, but I, I took all my sideshow reward points that they've been dishing out lately, and I just threw that on a, on a Echo just in case, just because it's starting to feel a little bit more limited than it was before. I'm surprised Echo is still even out there. Well, he's he's next. Now that Wrecker is gone, like he's the last one to come from the team, so get him while you can. Yeah. You see, were you hunting for the whole Bad Batch? I was hunting for him? yeah yeah for the figures. I was just, I mean I got Echo alone and no I have Hunter and boxed up. Hunter. The only other one I would like is probably Crosshair, but then at that point you might as well get That's Record. Good. But I'm a little late to the game. Record's sold out. Crosshair is about to just pretty much going going higher in price, so I'm I'm just good with Hunter and Echo. So Josh Alvarez says I got mine with all the rewards points I had. That's a beautiful. Beautiful thing, my friend. And uh, best good kid, how you doing, my friend? He got three an extra for a few friends. Nice. What? Go easy. <laughs> he got nothing. <laughs> he got zero. <laughs> and then Dilo got five. I got four. But easy got zero. And Everybody's like, oh, I just walked in the dollar store and got one. What's the problem, easy? <laughs> yeah, no, I just found one. They let me leave without one. I was like, fine, get off me. I'm sitting in the Burger King using their Wi Fi trying to get a freaking. <laughs> I think I, we all got three, but these guys <laughs> zero. All right, so so let's see what you guys said about this figure. So let me close the poll here. Awesome. All right, so we have forty-one percent said they will buy the figure. Forty-one said not interested, and sixteen percent said pass. So so fifty-fifty, really. Fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. I mean. Y'all liars, y'all want this. Why did it sell <laughs> out then, huh? Why did it sell out? I was looking, I was looking at um what's his name? Um Team Sense uh Toys by an agent. He had it Side. up for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was sold out for thirty four thirty uh Hong Kong dollars, which I don't know how much is dollars. Four let me see, thirty four thirty four thirty was four hundred Thirty dollars, four hundred forty dollars. So pricey, very, very pricey, very pricey. But but yeah. So I guess easy. You're gonna continue hunting for this one. Hopefully you get one deal. On, I, mean, I guess, steal the deal on one, but I'm not sure if it's even a scam or what. No, you're not gonna get it. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. So just let's be let's be positive. You're not. Gonna get it. A trooper with a box of crayons. Color it yourself, my man. Mm, I can picture it. EC opening the box. He's like, oh my god, this trooper shrunk. What is this? 
I'm happy. I'm happy. He got a Funko Pop instead. Shout out to Joe. Mm -hmm. Joe gave me this as a as a gift. That's cool, right? Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh. All right. So enough with the Umbra Umbra Umbrella Trooper. Uh, congratulations to everyone who got it. I heard that the experience of, I mean, many people got it, but also many people were like, I don't know, like the 500, 1,000 place to to order this online, which kind of sucks. Uh, and, I was, and I was in within three minutes. So, like, and then I was number 5,000. Damn. You were number 5,000? Yeah, in three minutes. And I was like, Really? Like I sneeze and farted a little too much, and then oh no, sorry, easy, not for you, you stinky boy. <laughs> you lost. -uh. <laughs> like that bad. bad. Damn. So they could have made like probably ten thousand of these things. You know, it re it reminds me when we um when we were actually I actually streamed that day um to pre-order Anakin. Um, I think did I secure one? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. I did the Joker, but not Anakin. I was. I don't know. When I was there, I couldn't actually land to the page to pre-order. Right. So it took me, you know, it was a nightmare. So I joined the whale list. I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to get it, you know, gave up already. But, but yeah, I mean, it's good and bad, I guess, you know. It's I don't good. know how some people get it three because, like, I miss out on every raffle or every one of these things that come out. I have not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's playing. He's playing the losers. What the hell? He's playing. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dilu's gonna be buying and buying, <laughs> buying. Uh, all right. So let's just jump to the next topic. And ah, oh. this one. This is a okay. This is. Present Toys is launching this kit batch set that you can use for your Batman if you have it. So is the is the outfit? It doesn't come with a head sculpt, but it comes with a body and comes with the actual jacket, pants, everything you can see here. So I'm gonna show you everything because this one looks pretty cool, and I pre-ordered this one too because I'm Batman is coming next week, so I want to cool. display Bruce Wayne like this. So no body, sick. no body, just. No, it comes with a body. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, hey Dante, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out. I'll try to be right back as soon as I can. Guys. All right, bye, man. Bye. I love you. I love you too. I love you. Bye. See love. you in a few. Bye. Have a car. Have a car. I'll be back. I'll try. Okay, avocado. Avocado. I can't. It's it, it's uh, 28. What the hell? But anyway, so so yeah, I was looking at this one for person toys, and I like it. You know, I mean, the, the, look at the look at the jacket, the outfit. I mean, this is a very nice compliment if you have this figure and you want to display the second Haskell, right? Yep. What What do you think? I think it's good. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pick one up myself. I like it because uh, the the head sculpt itself. I mean, it's it's nice to have. But let's be honest. You, if you have a Batman, you probably want to keep him looking like Batman. But you got such right. a beautiful sculpt. This is a great outfit to put on him there. I'm curious. I think I heard somebody say that someone's going to be making the, the bike for this year because he doesn't drive the Batmobile bike. I think it's the drifter right. bike. Right. So, right. so I'm curious to, if I can get the whole, I think Jazz Inc. I heard is the person, is the company who's going to be doing that. So you put these two together, that's, that's going to be gorgeous. Mm, nice. I'm wondering, I mean, I don't know if I want to pay uh, that much for a bike. That is not the the, the bat cycle, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if yeah. he's gonna, Justin is gonna do this, we're gonna probably gonna be pretty pricey. I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know. No, you're not wrong, but I mean, if you used to go with the outfit alone, that's still getting your money's worth out of the, out of the head sculpt. That's gonna sit in the box instead. I'd rather put it on something like this with the tailoring, the backpack. The detail looks really. I mean, it's been a while since yeah. I've seen the movie. Detail looks strong. Like, it definitely looks like there's some accuracy to this here. So, yeah. Yeah. Is, I mean, do we know how much this is yet? Did, did we get yeah, a price yeah. yet? Um, one six kit has it. I think it's hundred ten all in, and you put I think thirty bucks down payment. So it's very cheap. It's not that that's, expensive. That's not bad. And this usually present toys usually does a whole figure. So th is this going to be like their first clothing set that they've done? 
I don't. I think it is. Maybe I know that they did the Hescope for Peacemaker, right? And I think came with a shield, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think they tend to do things like this. I'm not. Right. A, I'm really. I'm not an expert. But when I saw this, I actually caught my attention because Batman is one of my favorite movies, and I remember when that movie was about to be premiere. Um, I had my thoughts about Partisan. I wasn't too sure that he's going to do a good job in the movie. Right. And actually, he nailed it. So, I mean, he really did. Yeah. You know, I, I have, uh, again, again, the Hatos figure is coming next week. I really, I pre ordered the inner one as well. So, because I want to use, you see, the the one for um, the Hatos one, I want to I wanna display it with, uh, with that jumpsuit that he comes with. Oh, you're going to do, wanna, you're going to go for it. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's the one I got. That okay. comes with bad signal and all the stuff. And right. then have Bruce Wayne like this, and then the inner is gonna be the the Batman one. So have the nice. three different. You know what I mean? So that's it's cool. Pretty that's sick, cool. yeah. I haven't seen anybody do that yet, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I like to see that. It's gonna be pretty cool, yeah. And I'm I'm still thinking about getting the Bat Cycle. Um, I probably can get it, but I'm not too sure if I want to get it because again, space is not in my favor, and I have a lot of figures coming in as well. Right. Uh, and I have to really manage my my space again. I have to reinvent this place again. So, but yeah, I mean, it comes with a body, so that's pretty cool. And you can actually buy a different body if you like. Um, you know, the a few hands, of course. Uh, and this is the the clothing that it comes with, right? You have the pants, the shirt, the jacket, the inner jacket, the bat, bat the backpack, like the scarf, I guess. Uh, extra hands, you know, with a with a nice. Uh, I guess like you got the hands like wrapped up, like wrapped up nicely. Yeah. Right now. I don't know if this is fabric or this is a sculpted. This one, it looks it's sculpted to me, right? They look sculpted. Yeah. Probably gonna be sculpted for but, a third party. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I mean, this is a really good set. Um, yeah. you know, for the price is not bad. You know, you know, for a fact that you're not going to have any issues articulating this thing because you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's fabric. So nothing to worry about articulation. I mean, you have in a generic body as well. So, I mean, and, and you can use the head sculpt. <laughs> for the price that you think you figure here, I mean, realistic for $110, you got a head sculpt that you already have in the box that you're not doing anything with there. You pretty much have a brand new figure just by getting this set over here. So, pretty much. yeah, if you're a fan of the Batman and you want to make good use of all the accessories that come with it there, this is a no brainer. Pick it up and you, bam, you got yourself a Bruce Wayne. That's, that's true. And I can guarantee you that some other companies are going to make the Bruce Wayne that fit with a long uh, jacket and the long coat. And yeah, you know, I think Topo Toys is making one as well, too. That's another studio that does a lot of like like clothing sets as well, too. I think they're making one as well, too. They've been teasing it on their site. Oh, really? Hmm. I think they did some for the Joker, right? Didn't they? Yes, they did. They did it for the Joker. They did it for John Wick, if I remember correctly. So they done. Oh, they done Bruce Wayne as well as the Ben Affleck one. They've done his as well. So they got. Yeah, they got quite a few sets out there. How come I don't see it on the website? Oh no. What the uh, the Bruce Wayne, the new Bruce Wayne one that hasn't been officially shown yet. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about the. Um, I'm talking about this. Um, oh, the present toys one, yeah, yeah, yeah. The present toys one, come on, might, might need to be logged in. I'm not sure. Uh, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Hmm, that's weird. The link is not working. Hmm. It's strange. So, yeah, sometimes you gotta be logged into his website for it to pop up. Hmm. I'm just reading the comments and see. I want. Da, da, da. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. 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 But uh, but yeah, this is a good set. Um. Yeah, you see what I'm seeing, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I was looking at the comments. He says product not found. No, he said he was logged in. No results. So maybe it's not on the website yet. Might be too soon. No, it was because I checked it before. I actually oh, pre-ordered it before. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to show oh, you the price. Oh, this is me then. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think it's sold out. I mean, it will be stupid, right? Those things doesn't sold out that that quick, no. anyways. Um, but yeah, man, these third party companies are dropping the heat. Really, they do. Yeah. They're doing it, you know. And a lot was, of competition out there, man. They got to step up their game. Sideshow is pulling out things out too. You got the the Pennywise from the TV show, the Beetlejuice recently. Everybody's coming out with some strong, strong products right now. Yeah, I can wait for that Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, right. So let me show you this. What we're waiting for? Uh, what we're waiting for? Easy. Let me just put it on the screen. Uh, here. So, Person Toys with another Terminator figure with real leather. And the reason why I'm, why I'm going to get this one is because I have the Hot Toys one. But the leather is, is about is starting to get damaged. I bought, I bought it secondhand, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I knew it had some flaws. I got a good price. That's why I got it. But what I'm thinking is... I'm going to probably take the jacket of this and maybe buy another jacket so I can have it for the figure. You know, I'm still trying to think what I'm going to do. But this is a third party one. This is for Preston Toys again. And I'm very happy with the Terminators I got from from uh, from this company so far. But what, what are your thoughts on this? Is this something that you you will get? Are you interested in, in, in getting this uh, Terminator figure? I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so it's always hard to... Uh to decide whether if i'm gonna get uh like a third party figure because I, I have all the terminators from hot toys with the exception of the one that you have the one that you just picked up that's like on my list of ones like i've always one. wanted on yes that one but the hot toys version of it though right. the hot toys model of it there so i've always always been looking out for a deal on those there but this one is i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty good i'm not a i'm not a third party guy i like, think i i tend to stay away from those just because there's so much stuff i want from hot toys and in art and stuff like that but proportions wise it looks pretty solid uh head sculpt looks pretty decent now the the new jacket you were talking about here this one is leather is it going to be leather. pleather or is it leather no, no, is real, real leather? leather real leather yeah that's a big deal that's a big deal because yeah that one is known for flaking a lot there honestly i like it but i need to see it in person though just because with third party i don't do third party often the only third party figure i have is actually this guy right here this is the only the first third party I ever got is my man over here. So and this one is let me see what I can film that. Yeah, that that uh that right there. One. Nice one. Gorgeous. This is the first time I've ever in all my years of collecting got a third party, and this is the best third party I've ever seen here. So so this yeah. was what Mars Toys? And that Mars, one Mars Toys, yeah. Toys, yeah. I got I had that one, I sold it. Um the third party figures that I have right now are the Battle Damage Terminator and the Clean Version Terminator. So this is from Terminator 2. Nice, nice. Yeah. So those are the, the only ones. I don't think I have any other third party. No, I don't. Um, and that, that's the reason why, you know, I wanted to collect, um, you know, um, officially licensed figures, right? um but those those two are very good i mean if you guys saw my review for the battle damage uh terminator it looks freaking insane i mean it's not the dx13 right you know this just... one right here looks good though this head scope right here this battle damage one here with the eye yeah. signal this looks good though it is like, very good um and from the side the side profile on this one this looks really accurate here like this is this is up there so the only thing I would say is I think maybe just maybe from the pictures, the body maybe looks a little skinnier. I don't yeah. know. What do you think? It's, I feel like because Arnold, man, Arnold's buff, man. Come on. You know what I mean? So maybe he looks on a little skinnier side like he's on a diet Terminator, but head sculpt wise looks good. Leather jacket. That's a winner right there. Even if you wanted to like buy this just so you can kind of fix your, your original Terminator from Hot Toys, still worth it just for that part alone. Cause oh, yeah. To find a good jacket these days for how old that figure is, it's practically impossible. So this is probably a cheaper route. So even if you're someone who's not interested in this, but thinking about getting the Hot Toys one, this would be a great one to kind of substitute some pieces that might be a little old there. So yeah. Right. And you know what you can do as well? You can use the Hot Toys jacket that is getting destroyed and, and mm -hmm. you know you know peeling, and you can put it in this figure. So this one looks like a battle damage for real. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. 
You know, you can just, you know, maybe customize it a little bit, paint it in red so it's, it has some blood stains and things like that, and that's it. You, you, you're good. You know, and use this this jacket, which is leather, to your Hot Toys one. Right. So, exactly. And it comes with a third head sculpt. It's three head sculpts. Oh, what is? <laughs> and what this is, is that? You, this this is like almost almost like the freaking you know with the endoskeleton showing. It looks like my ex girlfriend. What is that? Eesh. What is that? Oh my gosh! I know. <laughs> I didn't know she gave away her rights. <laughs> we have Graham. How you doing, sir? What's Ooh. good, everyone? How you doing, my buddy? friend? Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I, st I stole Dilo from your wolf pack. <laughs> <laughs> borrowed. I, he borrowed. I, I, I borrow him for for the night. Is he is is uh, is eating something? Because you know this guy has been fasting for three three weeks already. So he did eat his avocado. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. All right. So let's see how much is this figure. Um, let me see. One six kit. Actually, let me show you guys here. Let's see. Present toys. Easy, what are you doing over there, bro? I just see you huffing and puffing. You good, Easy? <laughs> so the figure is 205 all in. 205, okay, that's not you bad. 35 bucks. Wow. And you get a, a third high school for pre-order, so I have to pre-order this wow. one. So the apparel is made of genuine leather just the jacket right because i think that's the only leather um, material that we can see um and if you pre-order right you're gonna get the third has sculpt so i don't think it's bad at all uh, see that's what hot toys has to do instead of giving us limited releases on Obara troopers if you want to do it pre-order you get an exclusive thing i just i feel like i have an opinion so, Easy, what's your opinion about this um, Terminator, third-party Terminator figure? Is that the one? Is that the one you got, right? Present toys from Hot Toys, yes. No, present toys. Like you have the third-party one, right? No, I have the I have the third-party battle damage. That's the one I have. Oh, I thought you had a present toys one that had a real leather jacket and all. Oh yeah, yeah, I have that one. That's no, the battle yeah, damage so, one. So yeah, but not this one. This this is a new one. Well, from what I see, it's really good. It's really good. And like whatever you're looking at right now is what you're gonna get. And it's surprising coming from a third party company. Real leather, pre-order exclusives. This is hot toys, you know, watch and learn. I wish they would do that. Like if you pre-order, you get a special little head sculpt with it or an extra helmet that you can't get if you don't pre-order. They should do that, not the limited releases. That would fix their market. Back to you, Dante. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-order this one. This one looks good. But yeah, Dilo, as you said, it looks like on the skinny side. It's a little bit, you know, like right? he's been doing and a lot of cardio good. lately. His legs are thick. Super yeah, he got some thick legs. Mm -hmm. But he is a little skinny up top. He's not as broad. He looks like a younger, like way younger than the actual film he, Arnold. He, yeah, but you know what? When they announced the Terminator 2 Battle Damage from Preston Toys, it was also on the skinny side. And then when you got it, it was actually bigger. Mm, like, okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So this might be buffed out. Because my thing is, like, if you're going to use that jacket, if that body is made for that jacket, that jacket is made for that body, that's not going to fit in the Hot Toys one. Not if it's going to stay that skinny. Good point. I wonder. Good point. Dante can Good. actually do that, though. Because you're, are you getting this one? Yeah, I'm going to get that one. Yeah, I'm going to get that one. I think the shades is not even correct. The shades don't even look right. You think so? It does look. Why is it? It's this one. It looks no, good it to looks, me. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good to me too, man. Yeah. Mm. It, it looks, looks like, like, it looks like a single lens. But it, I see the nose bridge thingies. I don't know. I don't know. It looked like a sail. It looks be, weird. I'll be back. I this think the neck like is too long. 
Yeah, I think the body needs some work there. But I mean, I can see, I can see Arnold in this here. This looks like a blend between Arnold and what's the guy from If He Dies, He Dies. Dolph Lundgren. Oh, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Yeah. If he dies. It looks like a blend of the two. Obviously, being <laughs> third party, I'm not expecting it perfect, but right. Which which right. guy is it? which guy? If he dies, he dies. See, he looks like him a lot. <laughs> Well, I can say a little bit without the eyebrows, maybe. Where's but this his eyebrows? No, he had no eyebrows in this particular scene. What? Yeah, not not by this point. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, his hands are so looks small. good. It's spiky. His hands are way tiny, though. Huh? Yeah, he looks. It's it's a little, little, he looks tight. petite. He looks a little on the on the slim side for right. sure for Arnold. Right, but I still believe. I mean, present toys so far with the releases, I mean, good for the Terminator at least. The first one you see, the first one that they did, the first Terminator, the Future Warrior clean version, he had no neck, right? It was like neckless. Then for the battle damage, they actually added the neck, so now it looks better. But the Hescope. It's good, but not that great. You know what I mean? Like, it's not horrible, yeah. but it's not like, oh, my God, this is the best. It's a good placeholder. If you don't have the DX13, that's a perfect, my opinion, perfect placeholder, right? If you can get the Hescope, Hato's Hescope for the battle damage, then it's just perfect. You can just get it, you know? So... And push comes up if you're not happy with the body. I guess you can always you know, buy a body, like we said before, with like the Batman, right? So you get a bigger body, you know, the same thing here. Yeah, yeah. I can't get the Dolph Lundgren on my head since Easy said that, though. Like every photo, I'm like, shit, he kind of does look at Dolph Lundgren a little bit there. It looks like him so much. You just completely ruined this figure for me. I was like, yeah, I might pick this up. And he's just like, oh, I'm back. Right. This guy looks like Dolph Lundgren. Thank you, Easy. <laughs> You, you were know. missed. You were Back missed. You, you know. <laughs> Yo, this third party comments are really dropping the hit lately. You know, his hair, his hair looks like a chia pet. <laughs> That's actually accurate. <laughs> that is actually yeah. accurate. that is. Oh yeah, it's kind of accurate because he had this big fuzz going on. Yeah, that was very much an '80s do back then. That buzz cut fuzz thing. Mm -hmm. he, oh, he had play that scene again. He had the same haircut. Do it again. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> It, look look at his haircut. It has the same like haircut almost. The same style. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> now what you gonna do, Dilo? <laughs> <laughs> he cannot he cannot have seen that. Yeah. That, that that's actually right there. That's probably the best likeness I've seen to Arnold with like without the glasses on. So yeah. I mean it looks from certain angles, it looks really good. Every time I don't know, every time I see like Arnold, I always think like the Arnold voice as well too. You know, like nah, when, nah, when, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I like it. Daddy, what does he do? What sculpt is that? The, the third Hescope. That's what that's oh what I was telling Dilo. This is a third Hescope. So that's pretty cool, is that man. Like their, is that like their own render? Yeah, their own render. Yeah, it the two ones so had this. I can. Scary. I want to see this one. I can wait to see this. Kind one. of blurred out. That's interesting, though. Yeah. I mean, it's like because you never see it in the film like that. You never see his face like that in the film. So, so this is like them taking kind of liberties and like. Throwing a cool addition. So this is the one that you get if you pre-order Dante, like that one. Yes, yes. That's like for that. I mean, that's a cool bonus. You're not missing on something that's like absolutely like a must-have to have. But if you do pre-order, well, then that's a cool little extra you get. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I agree. It's really cool, and that's a that's the awesomeness about being non-licensed. They can just go in there and rip his eyeballs out and say, "Ooh, new hood's cool." <laughs> I like it. That's pretty cool, man. It's Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely pre order that one. Um, I can't wait. You know, the third party companies are killing it, man. They have this person toys also did the Ghostbusters, it's on pre order. I'm still waiting. I mean, I didn't pre order those yet, but I'm very tempted to do it. I'm just I have hope that I'm gonna see either Inar or maybe Hot Toys or maybe some other licensed company doing the Ghostbusters licensed, in our you know. But in art's gonna bring it all as far as Ghostbusters, Beetlejuice. Hmm. 
that's why I'm kind of like waiting a little bit, but I don't know. It's not in my top priority list anyway, so, but but I have a feeling that we're going to see something licensed coming very, very, very soon, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that was a, that was a great um, a great release or announcement rather. Um, so let's move on to the other. Well, this, this one here is massive, man. Uh, oh, yeah. And and I know he's oh. gonna like this one. Dante, do yeah. you know silicon? Silicon, I know it's silicon. <laughs> Are you gonna articulate it too? What? Wait, yeah. you can articulate this one too? Yeah. You can move the head and the arms. Like no way, yeah. What? Yes way. Yes way. I'm gonna show you. Hold on. He's just, he's like, I oh, wait. Yeah, For real? Yeah, man. I'm gonna show you. You're lying. You're bullshitting. He's gonna show me some naked ass midget, and I swear to God, Dante, I'm you can do this. I'm gonna again. show you a avocado. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the whole avocado. El el holco, holcosito. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me put the holcos. Hold That's on, on. if you're not lying to me, Dante, because I haven't seen. Papi, it I don't lie. <laughs> I swear. That's I lie <laughs> because being silicone, you don't want to touch it. I don't see like where's the direction. That's my concern. That's what I was saying Ripping. before. How thick is the silicone that you know you can stretch before it starts to rip? Papi. Okay. Papi. Let's see. Watch yeah. and chat a hack up. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Studios. What the hell? Hulk. Damn, Damn, bro. Look at the rip jeans. Look at the rip jeans. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Be 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 look at this. Look at this. Okay. It looks okay. like easy when he's fasting. <laughs> oh, I'm going food. Oh, I have to poop. <laughs> uh, uh, looks like you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Play. Jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, so oh. you can move the head. Okay. Oh. This is oh. gonna be weird, dude. Look at look at the hand. God, it's look, the size of like a full size hand. Look at the hand of the guy and look at the hand of the Hulk. That's crazy. Dude, That's crazy. Bro, insane. That's Play insane. the video, you mother. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, but the articulation is almost power pose articulation. I mean, I wasn't expecting, you know, full blown articulation, but where does it matter? I guess like height for height purposing and, and the, the value of the good placement. Detail, man. I don't know, man. This is... I wouldn't be touching that thing and That's trying to articulate it. I love that they're Look at that. chest hair. Yeah, rooted chest hair. Is that a first? Has that ever been done before? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's the nuts, man. Inside. He has more hair than I do. Bro. I Sorry. mean, it looks really good. No, that's... The head... Is it me or the head sculpt is off? Mm. Soft? It's off. Off? No. Nah. Really? No, that's man. Hulk. I think your face yeah, is okay, off. Can you bring up a picture of the Hulk? I want to see this. That's more of a rough la 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 foe. I think it looks... His hair is on point. That's awesome. I think it's off. It looks. No. Oh, what? It looks good to me, bro. All right, guys. Mean? People in the chat. F for 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 easy. F U easy or F U easy. <laughs> <laughs> Infinity War porn. Bro, it looks no. It looks good to me, man. I don't know. I mean, look at the scarves. You can see like, like look at them in the yeah, back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks awesome. If you reference, uh, like if you yeah. if you tell a third grader to draw a cat, it's gonna look like a cat. But does bro, it look like a cat? You know what bro, I mean. Look, but the detail is insane, bro. Like, you, did you see the elbows there? The discoloration there. I know. Look at that. Like that is like insane detail. Like those details are amazing. Yes. Look, I look at that. I mean, that's like who has time like to do that? That's sick. You know who has time to do it? Four thousand dollars. Ah, yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> four thousand dollars i mean it's massive it's it's way worth it i mean they're not playing around here no you know that's, that's my hope that one day i'm gonna see uh a well-known statue company doing star wars figures or star it's wars never, statues it's never happening 
but so only sideshow does them right now is that the only company doing sideshow is the only people is the only have, one right like, they have the license on lock hmm I don't know that head. Still... That thing is dope, though, bro. Like you can throw that in with like your hot toys, and that would actually look bomb as shit. I yeah. thought you said you could throw that thing. Like, no, I, my hot toys do now. I don't recommend okay. you throw your statues here. No, you'd hurt. Rigor name is. How you doing, Oop. my friend? No, broski. Yeah, I agree. Hulk is on point. I I do agree. I think this is one of the best Hulks I've seen in a long freaking time, if not the best. Likeness. Pain application, everything is perfect in this thing. Like if you are, that even if you great. hate Hulk, this is gonna make you love Hulk because it's Look that great. Look at the beard. Look at the five o'clock shadow going on, dude. It's amazing. I don't know why you said it's off. And no, the referencing. If you it's reference off. his face, you don't look like it's easy. Not, you if easy? I can nitpick about one thing, it's the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> fucking guy! I'm totally like criticizing this beautiful Hulk. Oh, it's all. Oh, it doesn't look like him. it looks like a third party Hulk. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the rooted eyebrows are throwing me off, though. If I'm being honest, like that's maybe that's a little too much there it looks like uh my like my eyebrows. grandfather's eyebrows you know that looks like my eyebrows with my beetle lego beetle lego a bone de la caca <laughs> oh, oh my man. gosh oh but this is um, this is really good man freaking amazing yeah I mean, look at that easy come on man it looks <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you looking at, man? That's Hulk right there, man. I mean, certain <laughs> angles is kind of. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you wild, bro. That is you know, Hulk right there. I told, I told Easy that he doesn't look like Easy. <laughs> <laughs> that he's off. <laughs> but this Hulk is on point. I agree. This is the best Hulk. Yeah, you see, Supernova so, Morris says. How many pieces they make into this? You guys know yet? I know, yeah. This one they're only making two hundred ninety nine thousand. <laughs> two thousand. They they can make you more hogs than freaking umbrella. Toys. Yeah, like umbrella toys. Uh, Bacalao trooper you got over there. <laughs> Bacalao <laughs> trooper. <laughs> Bacalao, bro. Bacalao troopers. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this one is pretty good. Oh man, let me laugh. They're making two ninety nine. They couldn't. They couldn't find enough in the budget to make three hundred. Huh? So I, I think. I think they Josh part of that <laughs> number. All right, let's make two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, ninety nine. But it just makes it seem like a like a lot less of a smaller edition, I guess, with that two ninety nine than three hundred. Yeah, no, for sure. That stuff he's psyching you out there. This is four thousand bucks. Oh, oh, Supernova. He knows what he's talking about. The uh, Legendary Beast Studio has the best Hulks out there. Um, you know, really, let's yeah, they got, find they out, got shall LBS we? type in uh, LBS. It sounds like a lesbian porno, but LBS Hulk, they're <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. <clears throat> Stop, Dante. <laughs> Dante. 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 Stay character, Dante. Please, <clears throat> all right. LBS has one of the best Hulks, and it's it's almost the same exact pose um it's almost the same exact pose and also like for this scale i don't care about the posing this ability one? this one i don't care about the posing you said ability. That this is the best i mean this is more like a uh, comic version this is comic version so yeah but this is if is you cannot compare it's not com you're not comparing apples to apples this is the best for the comic version and the other one is the best for like CGI Hulk, <laughs> you know. This one looks good too. I mean, this looks good too, but yeah, I kind of agree. Like, that's a good comic book one, but for an MCU Hulk, that's pretty oh, yeah. good. Maybe. Oh yeah, uh, this super is no, super awesome. nova. Do you know how much this is? I forgot. Is that five grand. 
Yeah. Is it? Yeah, we, the price I think is I saw it. Yeah, yeah, almost, yeah. Singapore dollars, which is like, what, $20? Just kidding. I don't oh, know. No, I take, I take <laughs> it back. I didn't know the price. I thought it was a lot, like half the price. I'm going back to Queen. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, hey, but it back. looks good. It looks good. It, that one looks good. For the comic, for the again, for the comic version, it looks good. Yes. But like, uh, for real, this one is, you go, okay, 2500 if this was like three thousand, I give it. I give it some more. This is four. But I don't care for the posing. That's to me, it's a gimmick. It doesn't really change anything, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't start posing my silicone giant massive thing and start touching it and start doing the. Is it, can you do like that? That's it. That's it. You're the Hulk. All right, so for the person who doesn't do the whole statue thing, like what if someone explain to me what is platinum silicone skin? That was I mean. Silicone is the most elite. It's like medical grade, above medical grade platinum. Like platinum mm. is like the most. Like it'll last 20 years. So oh, dang. If cared well, it'll last up to 20. So that's what these, like this Joker bust, that Batman, mm. they're platinum. So that mm -hmm. makes it's just, it's going to last a really long time. Gotcha, gotcha. So wait, are you telling me that I'm gonna buy this three thousand dollar statue for only twenty years? Yeah. Like my Joker back there, I'm waiting for that thing to start cracking. I don't keep my money in other investment, my friend. For that much, you can buy a car. Like we're talking about yeah. buying cars. We're stupid. You no, I don't know. Why not? I'm not buying a car. That's cars are poop. I'd rather drive my. Uh, 1989 Volkswagen Old, Oldsmobile <laughs> Cut loose. if he's gonna bring me from point A to point B I'm good that's all I need that's all I need man that's why Dante drives a $70,000 vehicle <laughs> <laughs> what? what does he look like? <laughs> buying <laughs> buying I'm gonna buy um, oh, I can't even eat this thing it's too hot <laughs> Yeah, over five grand. Yeah, it's gonna be pricey. And oh, you know man. what? This is a one third scale. Yeah. If in case you're wondering, so it's exactly the same size as the Predator I have. It's what about it's, be, it's about ninety two centimeters. So it's about thirty six inches tall. So it's gonna be huge. It's a huge piece. But he's gonna be the same size as the Predator. Almost, yeah. My this one is like of what thirty six to forty inches tall. I he should be bigger than him, right? I mean, Hulk one third, and then Predator one third. Hulk is way bigger. How big? I is know it's way bigger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's what they so say. So where, where do you guys put the boxes for these things? Because I've seen these boxes. These things come in. They're not small. What do you do I, with that stuff? I put it on my neighbor's roof. <laughs> <laughs> he can open the door. He's like, wait a minute. What are these boxes? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> just randomly appear there. I put them in um, my garage. I have you put them in your business. garage? Yeah, okay. That this came in one box, but Batman, mm -hmm. I don't know why he has three boxes that stands like eight foot tall. That's nuts, why. man. I have no idea it's, why. It's absolutely nuts. I don't Queen, know. Queen is like, look what we can do. So you <laughs> I don't care. No, but this is good. We continue to innovate our statues. I look, yeah. you see the hand, you can, they show you how much you can move it. This is, this <laughs> is, you know. I mean, it's good to know. I mean, if you're going to spend this much money, you need to know what you're getting. Yeah, but you're so this is 92 centimeters place. tall. So it's about 36 inches tall. That's so weird. It's going to be almost the same height as your Predator, but then the Hulk is that short? It's bigger, right? If it's a one-third scale, I, this has to be at least 40 inches, 50 inches Have tall. you seen their Iron Man one-third scale? I saw it, yeah. I if they it. do a side by side comparison, and yeah, but I don't think it's here. Let's like the Hulk, they make the Hulk look really small, like a short dude. Small, it's weird. Let me see if I can find one. Uh, Queen Studios, they put the but Iron Man's obviously like flying, so it's I'm gonna eat this, but I can't, you know. Um, oh, here. Random top. I mean, not random topic, but I guess piggyback from from this. Um, I'm waiting for Queen Studios. I know I missed out the uh, clean version of the Terminator, but I have a feeling they're gonna make the battle damage, and that's the one I'm gonna get. The battle damage one. Mm. That's the one. 
So Hulk is really that short. It always I feels mean, like he's like a lot taller than that. Yeah, I kind of see what you're saying now. Yeah, easy, like I thought he was huge. Like he should I mean, be taller. Like, taller. I mean, I know he's huge, but I feel like he's a lot taller than that. Well, yeah, you remember like in part two, Avengers two, like he had that fight with the Hulkbuster. I mean, this is like a regular suit, so you got to figure, yeah, the imagine, Hulkbuster suit. Imagine yeah. Iron Man going inside of him. Pause, but you know, no pause. Hulk, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Ron Moreno says this hole will last more than the X13. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. It's not gonna deteriorate at least, so that's good. Yeah, three thousand would have been a good price. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I I mean I wish I have the space. <laughs> but again, I'm not into I like Marvel, but I'm not into collecting Marvel. So I mean if you are a Marvel fan and you love this line man you're gonna have a beautiful display right there but for people buying it i would be concerned about the sizing it's very weird like yeah just... you don't want to you see what uh, unless you buy the whole line right the infinity saga line so everything is kind of scaled right but still i mean um, if they're saying one third i want my one third money but size facts. Up, no facts that's true that's true. but but again you're paying for the quality as well right you have like the, this platinum platinum silicone which stuff. means perfection so which is perfection right. you know yeah the, the, but then they have to scale it compared to the other other uh statues as well so i guess is is, is i mean i agree it looks a bit smaller right but well, let's google hulk yeah, it looks smaller. size it looks smaller hulk size comparison i really i really hope i don't see a green penis <laughs> we hope okay, so too. Share. Can you share? Yeah. He is... Here, can I... How do you share? Share a button. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do this? <laughs> la, 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 la. Share. Submit. I don't want to share my stream video. We're going to be here for a while. I don't know how to share. Oh, there it is. Share button. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said three hours ago. Easy. Sure. It's not all about size. This thing has such a presence and personality. Yeah, that's what people with little penises say. I'm just kidding. It's not. I was just joking. But you see that Thor next to um, Hulk? Yeah. He way bigger, Mama Gemma. That's a whole oh, yeah. like four heads bigger. Mm hmm. Yeah, facts. Stay there. Stay there, he said. So yeah, I mean he's flying a little bit. So he's a little bit. I mean that's like what one and a half head. Like he's no, like he's noticeably big. I mean, come on. Yeah, he's definitely undersized for sure now. I wish, like, I mean, at least it's maybe I'm taking it a bit too far, but to me, if you're paying premium with the platinum grades and all this perfection, yeah, the paint job's awesome. Yeah, the articulation is awesome. Rooted hair pubes you get the whole nine yards size it right you know and don't tell people it's one third at least say hey one fourth that's that mm -hmm. to me that's almost like between one fourth and one third hey this is a one six figure gotcha <laughs> four thousand dollars but, but still it's good it's good and uh all right and last but not least i wanted to share this with you guys uh, in case you are hunting down for this, I wanted to share and see if you, why you guys may be interested in getting this uh, beautiful, amazing Ecto-1 that is back, like Whoa. a secret stash from uh, Comic Concepts. So if you're looking to get this Ecto-1 Afterlife, you can go get it now with Comic Concepts. Is sixteen ninety nine, and you can do payment plans, and you can use my code MOHC ten, and you can save ten bucks. Something is better than nothing. Don't judge. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not getting this one, obviously, because you know space. But if you are hunting for this one, I mean, this is your chance. You can pre-order it now; it's available. So I can share the link in the retail? chat. Yeah, I think it's retail. I think it's retail. It looks like it's sixteen nine nine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll put it in the chat. So in case you are 
interested in getting it. And I think he also has another, um, let me see, Comic Con 6. Um, I think he had the Red Hulk as well. So this one is uh, exclusive for um, retailers. This is the Red Hulk. So you know rationality, $7.99 versus $4,000. Just go buy a $800 Hulk. Right. Yeah, but it doesn't have the pubes, bro. Come on. Yeah, I know. It doesn't have the pubes, but, you know, rip, glue, uh, you know, DIY stuff here going on. And and look at this. Look at the size of this thing. It looks like it's almost the same size as the Queen's Studios Hulk. <laughs> No, it's not. How, how tall it's is this? This is like like same size as the Batman Returns, probably. What is this thing here? Is that a, like his nail? Or something? Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's the thumb. Okay. Shit. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's sizable. It's you... very big for 800 bucks. You see, for and this is the this is the thing that I love about these premium formats, right? Size shows. Um, it's the size. I mean, is affordable. I mean, still pricey, but you know what I mean. Like, if you want to get Prime One or Queen Studio, you want to get Infinity. Price wise, it's cheaper, obviously, but also you get a size that is good. So it's not like small. It's not too big. It's just a, like to me at least, it's a perfect size. You can put it on your desk, you can put it in a corner, you can put it like in a nice small display, and it will look nice. You know, it will look really nice. I'm actually looking at one that I'm still thinking about getting, which is the, the Spider-Man with the with the um, with the Sinister Six. The classic looking spider. Classic looking one. That, that's the one. I mean, I'm not into Spider-Man, but that one really like. I really it really caught my eye, that one. So this is 29 inches tall. And the other one is 36 inches tall. Wait, 2900 and that look, yeah, that's this is, crazy. This is 29 inches tall, so it's really not bad. Size is not wow. bad. At How many all. inches is the other one? 36. Exactly. One average male penis away from thousands of dollars. <laughs> uh but yeah, man. Uh by the way, I have to wrap this up because uh, I have a soccer game I have to watch. So I want to say thank you everyone for stopping by and watching the show. Uh easy company collectibles. What's going on on your channel, my friend? I was supposed to spend a lot of money today, Dante, but it didn't happen because the person thought, oh, no, I don't have to put insurance on the package. I'm like, yeah, you do. You better figure that out. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. All right. So that's all. That's it? That's it. Yeah. I wanted it to ship and pay, get paid for, but, you know. Did you eat? No. I, I had a little bite, and then you swallow. <laughs> uh Dilo, what's sure. going on your channel, my friend? <laughs> thank you for thank you for stopping by again. Of course. No, thank you for having me again. I appreciate it. As always, there. Easy. It's hard to keep up with easy there. It's uh you have such a way with words. You're like uh fuck. All right, I'm gonna get over this. All right, so uh, yeah, so on my <laughs> channel, I've got uh I got a new video dropping this weekend. Uh what it's like to collect with your friends. That's kind of a, a theme of my video over there. So uh, be on the lookout for that this weekend. And as always, you guys can always find me and the rest of the gang there on Wolfpack Wednesdays with my boy there, Graham, Graham aka the Jedi's Night's Watch, Brick Artemis, and Evil Sneaker. So in fact, nice. also Evil Sneaker is actually, I'm not sure, I think his stream might have already started. So if you want to flip over, yeah, I think oh. he's actually streaming right now. So shout out to him. But uh, yeah, so I got a video dropping this weekend and me and the boys on Wednesdays like usual. Yeah, man, that's good. That's good stuff, man. Yes, uh, Dilo, again, the pleasure, my, our pleasure for you to be here with us. Thank you so much, Easy. As always, my uh, thank you for being here. Uh, glad you were able to eat something, even if it's avocado. Um, <laughs> avocado. Yeah. <laughs> So what's going on my channel? <laughs> <laughs> so we, so get ready because you're gonna see a lot of reviews coming very soon. You know, a lot of reviews: Batman, Pennywise, Vader, c Tripio, a lot. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm working on the episode two of Beyond the Box. If you haven't seen the first episode, I really recommend you watching it. 
is uh, regarding about collecting in a small space. So you may want to like it. You may want to watch it because I think I, I provide really good tips. If I miss anything that you think I should include, just let me know in the comments. Um, so far, many people reach out to me and they really like the, the, the little tips that I shared. Um, the second episode is uh, in uh, pre-production. I'm still this. I, it's two topics I want to talk about, and I'm still trying to decide which I'm gonna go first. I think I'm gonna talk a bit more on the finance side, you know, and just gonna give you some uh, tips of um, how I do, how I manage to do my collection in general with you know some finance related stuff that you may kind of you may, you may like, you know. So, I mean, some collectors don't know this, some maybe may know. But I thought I should share some information. So stay tuned for that. It's coming very soon. Um, you know, just subscribe to the channels. We are close, actually, 3,000, maybe less than 3,000 subscribers away from 60,000. So that's a huge jump. I want to say wow. thank you, everyone, for subscribing, from following up. And, uh, you know, you guys are amazing. You know, we are at 57,900. So we're kind of getting there. Uh, hopefully we can reach out to 60,000 in the next couple months. Hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, then we're going to continue, right? The goal right now is a very aggressive goal. I want to see if I can make it to 100,000 by the end of the year. Aggressive again, but hey, I love to have aggressive goals. So thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow my friends. All links in the description below. Follow me on Instagram. Become a member of the channel if you want to. Uh, if you become a VIP member, you're going to have access to exclusive chat for members and, and you can also be part of giveaways. So you may going to like that and waffles as well. Some ruffles that we can do as well. And that's it. Thank you guys. And as always be well and see you mm -hmm. around in the next video.